This million plus dollar home has been on the market for months now. In Great Falls, according to recent reports, the median house price as of August of 2024 was just over $300,000, with a 3.3% drop since last year. However, this still means that accessibility and affordability is difficult for many reasons. Homes are selling, but the prices of homes compared to availability are skewed. Glancing at our MLS, the multiple listing service on sales in Great Falls, for the last six months, 484 homes have sold. 207 of those were less than 300,000, one over a million. This means that there aren't enough affordable homes for the average buyer, and yet many million plus dollar homes are simply setting on the market while some in our community go homeless. But 82 less than 300, 16 over a million. Several factors, both local and national, are driving the tightening in home availability and prices. Well, I think what's going on at the base, that's, you know, that drives this market, uh, a big part of it, just what's happening, people wanting to come to Montana, so those, a lot of right retirees, a lot of military retirees, uh, a lot of people who just want a different lifestyle. So we're seeing that across Montana, all, the whole state, we're more affordable. You know, Whitefish, Bozeman, like you and I were just visiting about, that's become California, really. Interest rates will have a, a clear impact. What happens in November will have a very big impact on what happens nationwide. Lynn has a few recommendations for prospective home buyers. A seller, and they're, they're king right now, says, I'm not going to wait for you to sell your house. I'm going to choose the guy who doesn't have to sell his house, who's PCSing or something like that. And so then you say, well, we've gone through inspection. We're, we're, we're pre-qualified. We'll do this. We'll do that. So you start to negotiate for your buyers to try to put them in a position so they're not homeless. Brand new listing on the market, you better go in full price and you better not ask for any closing costs. She also recommends using an agent to navigate the complex home buying landscape. I hear this all the time. Well, I was going to save a commission. Well, in the long run, having somebody who knows the, the system, knows the forms, knows how to get people involved and how to pre-qualify in inspections, it really does make a difference. In Great Falls, I'm James Rowland, MTN News.